guys, it's Ninja Mom here, and my eyes are super irritated. I think it's allergies, um, so you guys might see me rubbing my eyes a lot, especially this one. Um, sorry. I'm here with a Nana Makes Sense haul. This is a very large custom. Um, it's not super big, but it's big, and this is just part of one. I do plan on going back in again um, before I go on to my low buy um and getting another big custom like this done so just to be aware wait lift this this is a 13 bag custom and these are all samples she sent me i did do a live last night on my instagram with them she sent so many samples you guys on top of this order it was unreal so these are half pound shape bags. They're nine dollars a piece. Um, the grand total. This is my my invoice is massive. Like because there's so much. She did such an amazing job. Like it just blows my mind. Okay, so the grand total was. was 142.57 roughly so yeah not bad for like 150 dollars all of this like and it's all customized plus she gave so many samples it's insane now she did have to make some modifications. So on the card it says, hi Veronica, thank you so much for this great order. I hope you love everything. I hope number six came out okay for you. That's the one I ordered the wrong oil for. I added the buttery brown sugar, hoping that it could fix it. Please let me know, happy melting. So what it is, is I have a blend in here. Give me a second. It's a Cupcake at Tiffany's Caramel Corn Buttery Brown Sugar Cotton Candy. It was supposed to be Cupcake at Tiffany's Kettle Corn Cotton Candy. But it came out perfect, and we'll get to that when we get there. So, and then it says, Happy Melting Barb. Very sweet. I love Nana. You guys probably <laughs> see so much Nana on this channel. It's unreal. But because I just, I love her wax that much. So, there's so many samples in here. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And I do know that on the 26th, you guys, she is having her second um, part of her Easter collection launch. She had the first part the other on the 12th, I believe it was. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but it was, I believe, on the 12th, somewhere around there. And then um, she released the first launch of um, fragrances, which you guys saw on my last Easter collection haul from her. That was the first launch of scents. And then um, there's a second launch coming, and it will have a second blend of mine and a bunch of other blends that other people had made. Super fun. I'm very excited. So we will talk about some of those because some of those were samples in here. Um, I will try to pull up um, the information for who the people are so that they can get credit where credit's due. Um, as far as for the blends that they created. Okay, so... First off, we'll start with mine because this one's mine and it's right on top. And this one is coming out on the 26th of this month, you guys. This is Chicks Be Laughing and it is Lemon Chiffon Cake Blueberry Frosting and Peeps. You're going to hear a kiddo. He's sick and he's stuck at home. Um, you're probably going to hear him coughing and probably a lot of sneezing and stuff going on. He does not have COVID. He has a cold and strep throat. So he's not feeling so great. So this smells like um, a very, you smell the blueberry frosting. The lemon chiffon cake in here is not like a, a lemon chiffon cake I've ever really had. It kind of does remind me a little more of like a cleaner type lemon. But this was just poured the 14th and we are on the 23rd. So it's not cured yet by all means. So it could completely change. But you do smell the blueberry frosting. It's a beautiful, delicious blueberry sweet sugary frosting. Then you get that peeps, that sugary marshmallow scent that comes in, and it is very good. So that was Chicks Be Laughing. Then we have Spring Dew, Raindrop, Satsuma, and Peppermint. So let's see what this one, who did this one. 
This video is going to be very long, so I probably shouldn't be doing all this, but I'm going to. This is from Charity by Charity Rose. Charity Rose did this one, you guys. Ooh, that's that raindrops is front and center. It's very clean, kind of floral. Um, then you get a little bit of that citrusy satsuma. I don't get a heavy mint. The peppermint comes in almost like a green note. Like a greenery scent. It smells really like, um, it smells very clean and invigorating, like fresh for spring. It's not my, in my scent house, but I do have friends that will like that. The next one is Cottontail. So let's search up Cottontail. I should have done this beforehand, but I'm dealing with a sick kid. So this is Marcy Sepulises. And I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your last name right. But it looks like Sepulis to me. This is Cotton Candy Strawberry Fluffy Marshmallow. This smells so good. You get that cotton candy and then that strawberry, like a strawberry candy that comes in. And it's so good. This literally does smell like a cotton candy peep, like a strawberry cotton candy peep would smell. It is so good. I'm going to be ordering some of that one when these are all available on the 26th. Then we have bunny ears. I did get this one before. This is sugar cookie, vanilla, buttercream, and pink sugar. I'm not going to go through who this was. You guys can watch the other video to find out who did this scent. But I can tell you right now, I don't even need to smell it because I do remember what this one smells like. This is like a um, like a sugar cookie that's fr frosted with a pink sugar frosting. That's what it smells like. But I have smelled it a lot because I've had it a few times and I was really contemplating on if I wanted to order it. So I did melt it a few times. Okay. Then we have glazed donut. The, there is not all Easter stuff. Some of these are just basic scents, but there are Easter ones in here too. Mm, this smells really good. Last night when I smelled it, I think I was nose blind, to be honest. I think I was like 100% nose blind last night. Because I had, to, you'll understand, I have, I'm literally sitting around with like seven boxes around me and they're all videos I need to film. But I, today I smell it. Last night I couldn't really smell anything but like kind of like a sugary glaze with like a little bit of a fried aspect going on. Today I smell like bakery dough. Mm. And you get a vanilla, like a vanilla, um, oh, it's so good. Kind of like a vanilla icing or glaze. Mm, it's good. The next one we have is called Spring Sunrise by Viona Liu. A blend of orange sherbet, cotton candy, and fresh picked strawberry. Oh, this smells so good. You get that orange sherbet right off hand. Oops. Come on. I'm trying to look up these other ones and I'm one finger in it and I probably shouldn't be doing that. Okay, you get the orange sherbet off this and then you like you get the fresh picked strawberry. The cotton candy is just in there sweetening up, but it's like a orange sherbet ice cream that you decided you were going to slice up fresh strawberries on. We had bunnies on the boardwalk before. This is Angela Thrasher's. This is the Espresso Ice Cream Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. We've had that, and that was released in the first one. Then we have Bunny Buns, which is another one from Viona Lou. This is Cinnamon Bun Fresh Baked Bread and Peeps. I really like this, and I'll be buying this one too. This is like a delicious bakery cinnamon. It reminds me of like... As a kid with like cinnamon sugar toast. It does. It really does. It has a buttery aspect to it. It does. It reminds me of like buttery cinnamon toast as a kid. So good. That's like, oh. I have, there's sometimes certain scents become very nostalgic for me. 
Okay, so then we have her cotton candy two and her cotton candy one, which we've had. These are different cotton candy blends. We've had these before in a few orders. The only reason I'm skipping through things like that is because I literally have so much to go through and I don't want the video to be super long. This one is called Peep Show. This is Angela Thrasher's as well, for the love of scents on here. Um, coconut cream pie, peeps, and a touch of caramel. You can smell the coconut cream pie and you can smell a touch of that, that caramel. It is on the lighter side because it is an awful lot of lighter scents, but this was, I'm sure when it cures, it will become more good, more, more strong. And the reason why I say that is because that's how Nana's wax sometimes works. It'll be kind of light on the onset, but then it'll be like, whoa, when it finally is warmed up all the way. Then we have jelly bean fun. So that's called yeah jelly bean fun and this is pauline lison a blend of lime orange and pink sugar Ooh, that lime is in there so it's very citrusy with the lime and the orange and you get the pink sugar so you smell all of it it's like a pink sugary citrus thing and then we have Tashan's blend, zucchini bread, butter brickle, Mexican fried ice cream. Mmm, that's really good. You get the zucchini bread and the Mexican fried ice cream the most. The butter brickle's in there, but it's just adding like a sweet kind of caramel thing. Like a caramel note to it. We had Bonu Barista before. This is espresso, chocolate, and marshmallow. This is a really good one. We have Peppy Bunny, Peppermint Pink Sugar and Sugar Cookie. And this is from Mallory Tackett. Mm. I love the peppermint and the sugar cookie in there. It smells really good. The pink sugar is in there as well, but that peppermint that's in there is absolutely delicious. We have Kendra's Friendship Bakery, Amish Friendship Bread Funnel Cake and Ice Cream Scoop Bread. The funnel cake, the cinnamon in the funnel cake kills it for me. It's so intense. I just, I can't do that. But... It's because I can't do heavy, heavy cinnamons like that. <coughs> okay, let's see. Oops. I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a two video. Oh, come on. Okay, well, it doesn't show who made this one on her site. Weird. Okay, so hanging with my peeps, fluffy marshmallow and strawberry peeps. It smells really good. It smells very similar to the other one. It does smell like a, um, like what a strawberry peep you think a strawberry peep smells like, except that one has a little bit more of a strawberry jam note. Easter basket goodies is from Amber Sal, a blend of cotton candy, chocolate, and pink sugar. This is not for me. Mm -mm. Um, this is like that 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 Tootsie Roll fake Tootsie Roll chocolate that I'm not big on at all, um, and it's just intensified by the pink sugar and the cotton candy. This is a no go for me, but for somebody that does enjoy those scents, um. You'll like it. Then we have another one of her mystery melts. Which her mystery melts, I'm telling you, they smell like zucchini bread and um, bear claws together. That's what it smells like. Okay, so now let's dive into this big box and let's hope... Oops, sorry guys. Let's hope that I can get through it before we run out of time. 
So the first bag is lemon cookie bar, lemon meringue pie, cupcake at Tiffany's. This is, these are all my own custom blends. That lemon cookie bar is so good. This is a very delicious, strong lemon creamy bakery. And it's got little bunny butts. Is that all that's in here? Yeah, these are all little bunny butts. You can smell that lemon cookie bar so strong. And you get the lemon, like the um, the creamy lemonness. And the cupcake at Tiffany's you actually get because you do get that toffee note. Oh, that's so good. Barb, you slayed. You slayed it, girl. I knew you would. Then we have cotton candy carrot cake cupcake at Tiffany's. And these are those cutest. I love these. Look at it. I love peeps, y'all know, but I love the orange peep with that that blue. Oh, this smells so good. That carrot cake is very dominant. You've got all the, like, you get, you'd actually smell the actual carrot in it. So you smell the carrot, you smell the spices and like the raisin kind of note. And then it becomes very creamy because of the cupcake at Tiffany's and the cotton candy is just in there sweetening it up. Oh, so awesome. This one is vanilla buttercream fresh baked bread and strawberry bread. I did this for a reason because I was trying to replicate when I was a kid, I used to eat toast with strawberry jam in the morning, lots of butter and strawberry jam in the morning. And it was just such a soothing taste and smell when it was made, being made. And that's what this captured. It, you get like that buttery warm toast with, oh, in the morning. It's so good. And I've got like these cute little birdies. Super cute. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God, that smells amazing. I'm so happy with how all these came out. Then we have birthday cake, maraschino, cherry, and peeps. And these are like little lambs and little birdies. So there's a little bird and the little lamb guy. Mm. This smells like birthday cake with like um, really sweet, like maraschino cherry marshmallow filling. It is just delicious. That maraschino cherry is so juicy. Then we have vanilla bean noel, simply divine cherry pie, and Mexican fried ice cream. And these are these beautiful pastel green peep guys with the holographic glitter. I don't know what is in the divine cherry pie, but it is divine. <laughs> so the vanilla bean Noel is just in there adding that creamy vanilla bean scent to this delicious dark cherry filled pie. And then you get a little bit of the Mexican fried ice cream that kind of comes in and just like warms it up a little. It's so good. <laughs> then we have a fluffy marshmallow, fresh baked bread and strawberry passion. And these are super cute red peeps. That smells so good. The strawberry passion, it smells very similar to the strawberry bread one I did over here, but this has the more um, intense strawberry, so it's not the same. It's a little different. Oh mm, my God, but it's so good. You guys, it is just heavy strawberry bread, marshmallow, sticky gooeyness. Then we have baked pie crust, espresso ice cream, and birthday cake. And these are in this super cute little Dare Bears. The espresso ice cream is very clear in there. You get that espresso ice cream and then you get like the frosting note from the birthday cake. 
I don't smell the pie crust quite yet, but these were poured on the 15th. This one was poured on the 15th, so it's still got some time to cure and change. The next one is vanilla bean buttercream pistachio and sugar cookie dough. This is pistachio dream right here. And this comes in like some little buns and flowers and hearts. Mmm, that pistachio is so loud. It's almost like a pistachio dream cake with a really good sugar cookie dough. <coughs> the next one is the blend she was talking about. This is the cotton candy or the cupcake at Tiffany's caramel corn, buttery brown sugar, and cotton candy. And I love how these ones are done too. Look at this. They're so pretty. And this smells so good. This is caramel corn, like caramel corn, kettle corn, salty, sweet, cotton candy, cupcake. It's like if you were to take um, a delicious cupcake and then make like a cotton candy frosting and put some fresh caramel corn and kettle corn on top, it would be the bomb. That's exactly what this is. It is salty, it is sweet, it is creamy, it is everything. The next one is Fluffy Marshmallow Cotton Cupcake at Tiffany's and Cotton Candy. She gave me the beautiful pink peeps with silvery glitter on them. This is so good. This smells like cotton candy birthday cake is what it smells like. It smells like almost like a rice, like a cotton candy rice crispy treat. It's very fluffy marshmallow, vanilla, cotton candy, sugary cakiness. It is just to die for. This one, I could see me buying tons of all the time. Because this is going to get gone through quick. Once these are cured, they're fair game. The next one is sugar cookie, coconut cream pie, and peeps. The coconut cream pie is really light in this. You do get the sugar cookie and the the marshmallowy peep. But the coconut cream pie does need time to cure to come through. You are getting a faint, like faint coconut note, but it's not real strong yet. But that that one was for the 17th. So days. Okay, the next one is summer scoop, Amish friendship bread, and blueberry cobbler. This is Fruity Explosion. This one sends shivers up my spine. <laughs> oh, this one's so good. That Summer Scoop and that Blueberry Cobbler, they ain't playing. They smell so good together. It is like a blast of like a mixed berry sorbet. And then you get a little bit of the bready note from the Amish Friendship Bread. It is just banging. And the last of all the customs is birthday cake, cotton candy, and Rice Krispie Treats. And, of course, Peeps. Everybody knows I love the Peeps! Okay. Come here, cutie pie. Look at this. You guys don't... Oh, I wish you guys could see the glitter on this guy. You guys can a little bit. It is this very bright pink and orange color. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so in this one, you get that Rest crispy treat real strong. And you get a, like, super thick frosting. And the cotton candy's dulled down a little bit in this, so it's more like a birthday cake Rice crispy treat is what this reminds me of, and it's super good. So that was it, you guys. That was all of my samples, all of my custom bags for this order. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Take the time to go check out Nana. She has amazing prices and she's done amazing on these. Amazing on these. I am so, so happy with how these came out. I cannot wait to do a second big custom haul with her. So excited. Thank you so much, Barb, for doing these. They were amazing. Everybody, please like, share, comment below, and hit up Nana's.